Hello everyone, so today you're going to be learning how to install Postman and uh, we also be creating an example of how to use Postman for a Spring Boot API. As we can see here, we have the Postman GUI set up already and displayed and we're going to be communicating with our API that's located here. It's already running and we already have these configurations set up, so when we hit send, we get this return value of hello tap tap. So if you're interested on learning how to do this and doing a real life example of performing a test on your API, continue watching this video. All right, so first you're gonna to go to this site here and I'll leave a link down in the description. So once you're here, we're gonna select this button here if you're using Windows. So we're gonna just click on it. And here we're just gonna save the exe file to a place that you'll remember. So we'll hit save. And now we're just gonna wait for the download to finish. All right, so now the download's finished, we're gonna open the file location and we're going to double click on the executable file. So you're gonna see this small little screen showing that it's installing Postman to your computer. And once that's done, we should see this GUI here. Um, we'll give it some time to load. All right, so now it's fully loaded and we can actually stop right here. You don't need to make an account but if you want to, you, these are the benefits of having an account with Postman. So yeah, so do it as you will if you want to make an account or not. But for this example, we don't need to. So let's close this. And here, this is the main screen that we're going to be using to test our APIs. So here, I've created a simple Spring Boot RESTful API. And here, it basically a get route, which will basically take a name and then it's going to return a response where it says hello and that name that the client has sent to this API. And to test this, don't worry, I'm going to leave a link to the Spring Boot project. So if you want to try it out yourself, uh, feel free to um, clone it in my GitHub, which I'll leave down in the description. So now we have our Postman up and to test this out, first we're going to run our Spring Boot server. And it, it might take a while, it might take a few minutes. So just give it some time. And so now it's fully run. Let's go back to our Postman. So now to test this API, actually, let's go to our controller first. What's going on here? All right, so now we're in our controller, as you can see right here. And there's some annotations that you need to know and understand. Uh, first of all, it's just request mapping. And also something to consider is that whenever we have a Spring Boot uh, application and we run it, it's always going to run on your local host port 8080. And this is important because we're going to need that for our URL because that's going to be our access point to our API. So for example, we're going to need HTTP colon dash dash localhost 8080. And now since we have this uh, API route, this is gonna we're gonna need to append this URL path into this URL. So we're gonna append API v1 dash test. So now we're trying to with this we're trying to call on the API that's located here, but it's requesting a parameter of a name uh, property. So in order to do that. We're going to go to body. We're going to go to body and then we're going to go to form data. And under key, we're going to type in name. And then for the value, I'm just going to say tap tap. And now when we hit send, um, what should happen is we would get a return value from our API of hello and the name that we passed it, which is in this case tap tap. All right, so we're going to hit the send button and there you go. So it says hello tap tap as the response to performing this get request with our backend API. So yeah, that, that's basically the gist of Postman and I think it's pretty useful to test your APIs with. So yeah, so that pretty much ends this video. And if you like it, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.